I got new settings, so see how that goes. But yeah, basically this monk, I was like under a mil damage about, and I was clearing like torment six and then eight out quickly, like, and then I did nine in two minutes. I haven't upgraded my we my weapon for probably like. 150 paragon levels or something now just saying you know i upgraded this glove out on the enus set and i got a better chest piece but like not like super better it's not like way better you know and the rolls i got on are just kind of like meh the boots are like slightly better too i got a better but like the the helm and the the belt are the same as the ones i got from the season reward so and these spirit guards ancient legendary i rolled these so i'll probably just keep on with this even unless i find a better roll you know what i mean and uh, as far as gems, like I just need more gems. I could be getting way more out of these gem slots if I had the actual gems, but I literally just don't. So, and I could go to do the, the vault with this puzzle ring, but it's like actually like my best ring and I don't have another one, right? So yeah, so I have to keep wearing it. <laughs> you need to be able to pick the tile sets or like influence the tile sets by like gold or some item like one of the crafting materials, like whatever you want, like anything, dude. death's breath, whatever. Like, because the way you empower rifts now, it's like, yeah, it's cool that there's like an empower feature, but like, bruh, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you get these rifts where it's like, yo, I'm slamming and I did like, you know, this two minute one and then you get these fucking like shitty hallways with no elite packs and I can't fucking chain, you know, like it's like, I'm never gonna replicate that two minute run in this fucking tile set it doesn't matter I, it's not like how good i am how good my gear is it's just a bad fucking tile set you know what i'm saying and like that's like the most frustrating part to me is that like it's not it, like i can be as consistent as i can and get better playing the character but then just keep getting shitty fucking tile sets it's really fucking frustrating actually it's like the fact that they have you in power with gold, but you can't, but it doesn't change. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it does change to better tile sets. That's like a new thing or something. I don't know about. I don't know. But as far as I know, it's not because I've rolled like fucking four shit ones in a row as the first level of the Greater Rift. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, bro, I'm trying to PB my time, and you just gave me this fucking dog shit hallway. Like, just like, dude, why are these ones even in the pool for the maps you can get on a Greater Rift? Take that shit out. Every single one should be a giant wide open middle part, like the good ones. Like, it makes no sense to have any variance when the whole thing is to is to to set time and you have a fucking leaderboard and a PBs and shit. <laughs> like all the PBs are always gonna be on the better maps. Duh! No shit, motherfucker. So why even have the bad ones in? Like y'all that dumb, I guess. <laughs> Christ's sake, dude. It's pathetic. Like, bro, it's so simple to fix. Like, add a feature, do this fix, nah, instead, no, nah, we'll just kick it and mate, we'll just ride Diablo Immortal instead. Suck my fucking dick, I, like, I know that was a bad time, but I felt like I was fucking juice in there, that second half of that, let's see what we got, 234, alright, that's not bad, but like, it's not good, you know what I mean, like, so, like, I just did one in 205, so yeah, that was actually, 230 was fucking good, I had to go four fucking floors to get that wide open one. If you just gave me that tile set as the first fucking level, I would have beat it in a minute and a half. And that's the problem. It's like... I, I don't know. It's such an easy fix, bro. It's just so much more satisfying in the big, big open ones, too. So it's like... It's not just about, like, speed. It's about, like, the satisfaction of, like, enjoyment factor of the game, right? It's a game after all, right? There's no fucking Tarkov, like, this is supposed to be torture argument here. You know what I'm saying? Like... Fucking game. It's an ARPG. When I do a rift, especially if I paid gold or did an empowered one, you should get a wide open one every time, dude. Why are we even fucking around with these hallways, bro? Like, it's so bad, dude. And then, like, it gives me this one. Like, come on, bro. I swear I'm getting, like, just so shit unlucky rolls. I had, like, a, a string of, like, I don't know, man. Like, maybe, like, five or ten where it was like clean everyone was so good it's like the game knew like all right these are your first riffs on this character so it's gonna be nice and then it went to shit i don't i don't understand like why like is that like do you have a chance to get shittier tile sets in the higher torments or something maybe i don't know but it's not good dude i'm telling you i said i know i said this before but like obviously no one listens so 
Let's make sure to say it again. You need to be able to pick your tile sets or pay in-game currency to, to change them. Like, at least let me pick from a pool, right? Like, if you want to limit it to, like, okay, you can pick that. You want the big open ones, but you also have to have a couple less desirable ones in there to, to keep it, like, flavored. That's totally cool. But when you just keep RNG rolling into the shit ones over and over and over again, it's really annoying, dude. And, like, I've played with people in the past that just leave the game and make a new game and make the Nephilim Rift again because it doesn't cost anything to make, right? It's not like a greater rift where you could... Most people probably just go through it as fast as they can. But, like, there's, I've seen people who would do one, and then when they know they're not going to PB their time, that's all they care about, they just leave. Because they have so many Rift Keystones that, like, they don't care if they finish it or not. You know? So it's like... Like, this one, I feel like this one that I'm on right now is, like, kind of like the in-betweener. Like, this is, like, it's not as nice as the big open ones, but it, it's way more big open than the hallway dungeon style. So, like, I feel like this one is, like... You know, B tier. Not it's not S or A tier, but it's like B tier clearing speed. It's pretty decent, you know, but it's it's not as bad as the tight hallways or caves that are just fucking awful. I just really want to see like if you give me a big open tile set, like what what is this? You know, how does this perform? Because right now, like it feels pretty decent in here, but you know, I haven't really seen the. Ooh, okay. All right, re-roll the chest piece. So I don't know what the actual odds are, but I was trying to get reduced damage from elites. You can roll 10 or 11%. And I, I re-rolled one chest piece so much that it was like 2 million gold to re-roll it once. And I never saw it one time. And now I'm on another chest piece that's newer, a little bit better. Am I ever going to see that affix? I don't know. Everything else I can pretty much get from like a decent amount of rolls. And that was like so fucking many, dude. Alright, it's good. We got two more rolls. Alright, here we go. It already caught... Okay, so it costs 57k. Okay, we're, we're chilling. So I ran out of uh, Forgotten Souls before. And I have a decent amount of Death Breath, so that's okay. I mean, like, I would take Mystic Ally damage, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if, if that came up, I would take Mystic Ally damage. Any percent. And any percent reduced damage elites. That's what I want. Cyclone Strike, I would consider taking over this 12% life, but I don't know, so let's re-roll. Yeah, that's just... Unfortunate. See, this is the, I've been having really bad luck with this today. I had good luck yesterday. Yeah, see? Like, it's just shit rolls, man. How it's been all day. Oh! Oh! Ten percent reduced damage from elites. Oh my god, that is so juice, bro. I was trying to get that all day long. Finally, as soon as I start complaining about it, you just gotta complain. That's moral of the story. Because the amount of damage that the non-elites are doing to me is nothing. The only one, the only things that kill me are those like fucking orange bombs they leave that blow up when you kill a lot of the elites. Like if I stand in that on the high torments, that'll kill me in one shot. With this character, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and elite damage reduction, 23.5%. It's really good. The Rift Guardian has found It is not ready yet. No, you have tried. Let's see what we can do. I'm skilled at clarifying gems. I'm skilled at clarifying gems. So this guy, character kind of rips now, dude. Like, it's starting to come together. I can see, like, with the right upgrades, how strong this character could be. But for a little baby new character, she kind of slaps, dude. 1.1 mil base damage already. It took me way longer to get this much base damage on my Necro last time I played. So I feel like I'm on a fast track comparatively.